Aftermath of season two has left Henry in this different state of mind and led to his decision to leave everything that he knows and loves behind in order to discover himself. Given everything that's unfolded in season two and where we find Henry at the start of season three, how did that affect the way that you approach him both mentally and emotionally? Uh, in no particular order, one thing about that journey was I reflected uh, 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 for a moment, like the fact that my castmates and I are friends in real life. We spend so much time together uh, at work and outside of work uh, when we were shooting. And um, one thing that just kind of helped me get into that space a little bit was the fact that like, okay, if I know that Henry is going off on his own for a little while, does that mean that I can't see my friends and my coworkers for a while? Like I had no idea how long Henry would be off on his own when we ended season two. So I just kind of, you know, thought about what that would be like being like Eddie being isolated from all of his friends. And like, I just sort of pretended I was working by myself. Um, obviously th that wasn't the case because, you know, I'm with my crew and, 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 and they're great. And it's always fun to be at work with, with all those people. Right. Um, but uh, another thing about, another aspect about that journey was really thinking about where he had started and ended in such a short amount of time mm -hmm. from the time from from the moment he catches up with his estranged father to watching his father get killed right before his eyes while dying trying to save him just as they were mending this broken relationship and if you look at just the enormity and the intensity of all those feelings happening at once. That's going to, that's just going to spin somebody out. And while I don't know if Henry made the smartest decision by breaking up with Nikki and going off on his own, it's just like, you know, we're all human. And, and sometimes we just, that, that emotional weight just kind of breaks you a little bit and like mm -hmm. your sense of logic or what's the smartest decision at any given moment it just kind of it falls off a little bit you know so he was uh, henry was dealing with a lot of emotional baggage uh, to say the least as he's ventured off on his own it's also revealed his power and ties to the compass how early on did christina and robert kind of clue you in on henry's evolution and his destiny in this kung fu universe so i didn't know anything about the powers until much closer to season three so when season two ended i just thought very much like okay he's gonna look for this compass he's probably mm -hmm. gonna find it but little did i know i am it i am the compass yeah. right and that was a very very cool reveal uh, i had a uh a, a meeting with uh, christina and bob before before every season starts we talk to our showrunners and they give us a, a a brief upload uh a general overview on what to expect for the story uh, in the grander scheme of things and what to expect for each of our characters. And so I just thought it was so cool that, uh, I was going to get, you know, superpowers. Yeah. Um, and, and also the fact that, uh, I, I kind of thought we were done, uh, exploring Henry's background for a little while. I, I, I wasn't sure how much more there was to dig into, but sure enough, there's, there was, there's always more to dig into. And, uh, it was, it was really cool from a storytelling standpoint to look at, all right, this is where Henry started. Oh, wait, this, thing happened in his past that he had latent uh, uh, uh magic ability mm -hmm. and it just kind of seemed kind of fitting that somebody like henry who was so connected and so passionate about finding yeah the mystical weapons and helping nikki on her hero's journey that that it just seemed very fitting and very poetic that that he too had something special about him as well mm. Great answer. You've also said in previous interviews that Henry's journey this season has l led to a lot of personal growth for yourself. And as an actor, how did his self-discovery impact your relationship with your craft? It really gave me such great opportunities to go deeper into the work, to focus on, uh, uh, on the work, to, to really craft what these moments, these points in the story look like from even from just like a stunt perspective, because yeah. I, I had never worked with wires before like that. Uh, that was, that was a really fun week uh, an episode to work on where, you know, they dangled me up there uh, for a little bit and uh, it was super fun and, and also just very, very safe. They, they were like keeping a careful eye on me the whole time. Um, I wanted to go up. I wanted to keep going up and keep doing the thing, <laughs> but uh, they're very mindful of that sort of thing. I learned, I learned a little bit about that 
those kinds of uh, stunts and that sort of rigging. But going to the, go back to the acting thing, these are key moments in Henry's life. They were literally triggering uh, from the moment that he watches his father die, from the moment that he gets where the powers in him get triggered and activated for the first time to each time he, he starts to use it and starts to feel something new. Um, and then even going to when he has to save Nikki and bring her back from the other realm. And all yeah. of these were just new. I mean, I think of it, I could, I could describe it in either new plateau or new, um, new heights or new depths. It's like, it's like both are happening at the same time. I'm bringing yeah. it further than I have before or going, you know, deeper within myself more than I ever have. Uh, so that was really challenging and just rewarding to be able to do that for for, for Henry because we haven't seen that side of him and we haven't seen that depth of him before. Yeah, and this is also the longest that you've lived with a character. Has anything surprised you about this experience? How has it influenced the way that you look at future projects? Oh, um, yeah, it's definitely the longest I've ever sat with any with a character. It's the longest job I've ever had for sure. Um, I think a really interesting lesson has been the term of like fluidity mm. and that you can let go of an initial concept or a first impression of what you think a character can be. So having been, you know, in Henry's headspace and in his wardrobe and, and, and that sort of thing for now three seasons, just allowing yourself the space to grow and to change because people do that in real life yeah, and not feeling like, Oh, I'm beholden to this concept or like, I always have to play like this. It's like, no, these characters grow. They go through things just like people do and people change. Um, so that's been, that's been rewarding. And it's been fun to sort of like, Oh, try to like take yourself out of it for a second. And how would the audience view this? Mm. And, and how much fun is it for them to see these people go on their journeys as they face new bigger challenges and, and all these things are like Henry getting superpowers, for example, you know? Henry's mission to discovering his identity has affected his relationship with Nikki, but there are a lot of parallels that you can draw between their respective journeys. Will that eventually be what brings them back together? What can you tease about the future? What I, what's so awesome about Nikki and Henry's relationship is, is there's this, there's this way that our bosses described their dynamic to us, which is that, yeah, they're a couple and, and they're like Batman and Robin and they're this like crime fighting duo. But beyond that, you know, because they, yeah, they did broke, break up for a little bit. I mean, they, 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 they broke up. Um, they, these two people are just cosmically connected mm -hmm. in on this earth across realms and that was such a beautiful revelation to see especially um during episode six of of season three where henry just doesn't know if he has it in him to bring her back uh, and to see that their love for each other connects them across different worlds um and that's you're going to see more of that as the season continues where you see how truly deeply connected they are beyond just the material world mm. that's a great teaser you know the, the fantasy and the magical aspects of this show have created the opportunity to introduce new dynamics and relationships that we never thought were possible what has it been like for you getting to collaborate with actors like Vanessa who are so integral into the story but you haven't had the opportunity to work opposite of just given the storylines it's been such a gift Vanessa and I have been friends since you know, the very beginning, but we never got to work together because yeah. she did, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I said this to um, my, my castmates. I said, how funny, like who knew back when we started this, that fa that we would, that, that fast forward to season three, that Pei Ling would give Ryan dating advice yeah. about his boyfriend. Like who, yeah. who knew that that's where we we're going to go. And, 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 getting the opportunity to explore new depths and new angles of uh, or, or new new situations with all within these 
relationships that we fall in love with has just been a blast. Uh, 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 Vanessa as a friend and also as a, as a scene partner is so uh, present and so strong. Like she, she, I could, she, I could feel how much she was there with me every step of the way. There were, there were, there were moments and days where I felt I was a little nervous or maybe just sort of like, you know, feeling maybe a little uh, 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 nervous about, you know, executing, making sure we execute the, 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 the story and, and the job. And she was just there with me every step of the way. Um, and so, and there were times where uh, real life imitated art a little bit where Vanessa was just there for me as a, as a, as a friend and as a teammate. Mm. And uh, moments like that are, you know, like it, it, th this job can be very challenging and can be hard yeah. at times, but having people like that, knowing that people like that are in your corner and they got your back is, it's great. Like that's, that's, that's what you take with you. Those are the memories that, that and, the, and the things that you're grateful that you take with you. Perfect second to this next question, but you know, as new cast members have joined this series, the sense of found family is only strength. And how have you all been able to build on the relationships that you've established in season one while also welcoming new actors into the fold? And do you have a favorite behind the scenes moment? I think it starts at the top. Our bosses, uh, showrunners, producers, everyone is, is kind, warm, loving, respectful. And then our number one, Olivia, uh, 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 it is very much a leader in all those ways. She makes everyone feel welcome. Uh, everyone feels safe to, to, to be around us. We, 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 we take pride in, in trying to create that and uphold that kind of uh, work environment. Um, we're very proud of the fact that our crew are, are really, like, we, we were all really happy to come to work together Yeah, and we all get along great. Um, and so I think that's, that has a lot to do do with the chemistry that you see off camera at work and on camera uh and, and so being able to you know just you know we're, we're, we work in a different city than than our own or most of us do rather some uh most of us are not from vancouver and so during the start of the pandemic it was very much as horrible or as and as and as horrible as difficult as that entire situation was for everybody it, it did also uh grant us the opportunity to just grow closer you know there was a it, it, there was a moment of like well either be friends with each other or have no friends at all you know and but but thankfully we honestly did bond and and you know i think going through this uh, pretty much the same challenges and being in the trenches with each other in that kind of yeah. way uh, uh, just allows you the opportunity to just grow closer together. And, 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 and it just so happens that like when we bring in guest stars and, and whatnot, some of them happen to be our friends from, from, yeah. from outside of work. Like I, I knew Ben from, from the auditioning trenches of, of LA, Olivia and Ben worked together extensively on legacies Um I was we, uh, a few of us are already friends with Mike Bow. So having these people come in, like just like just knowing that our friends could come and play with us, and 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 come work with us, is it, such a blast. Um, favorite uh, out of work uh, memories, um, many, but one of our favorites, apps I have to say, is uh, uh, one of one of our favorite things to do is going to play laser tag together. Uh, or my my aspirate, my hope is that when when kung fu is is all said and done and 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 you know goes down in the memory in the happy memories box that people will look back and be like yeah kung fu was really fun to work on but their laser tag games were epic <laughs> we're very we're a very competitive bunch and so we we it's 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 an intense it's an intense environment but it's it's a blast but but I mean, it gets to be that way because we are just friends with truly friends with each other you know outside of kung fu you recently also announced that you're going to be filming a future film is there anything that you can tease about that project and what fans can expect from that yeah yeah so uh uh, uh i'm working on an indie feature uh called chopin like the composer which yeah. comes up which does come up in the story and um it's very much in a lot of ways a a very relatable child of immigrants story especially child of asian immigrants yeah. Yeah, um, I think there's a there's so much that I connected to when I read the script that that we are going to delve into and, you know, deals with themes of 
the gap in between generations, especially Asian American generations, where we just feel like there's like the this deafening silence. There's this uh, there's this gap in between us where it's you, there's so much that 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 we want to say that we don't say. Um, the idea of reconnecting with your family, wanting to re wanting to connect with your roots, wanting to connect with your your own identity, especially after many of us growing up in in the West, like we we push it away for many different reasons, um, whether it's to fit in, whether it's because it's just too much of a burden, too much baggage to to carry at times, or just because we're just so occupied figuring our own shit out. Mm -hmm. And the story ultimately is about reconnecting with your family and your identity and, and, and finding love in more than in, in many layers. Yeah. Have you started doing your prep work for this project? How does it differ when you're working, when you're going from television to now to film? Time is a huge difference. I, got involved, I first got involved with Chopin like a, a year and a half ago. Mm. That's when I met. Vincent Lin, our writer director, and that's when I connected with him, and we've been chatting about it and you know, messaging each other about the project on the whole for uh, uh, a little over a year now. And it's been—I I don't usually—I don't ever get to spend this much time sitting with a project, sitting with a story in my head, and thinking, you know, in the long term about how it's going to go. Because in TV, things just move so fast. You know, faster than anybody is really comfortable with. Uh, yeah. the, 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 there's so much that you have to accomplish in such a short amount of time in in, in the TV world, and everything's on a fast turnaround. And you know, I, there's definitely a lot of you know days and episodes where you're kind of like, I I barely feel like my feet are beneath me, and we have to, you know, turn out this episode. We have to shoot this fight scene. We have to, you know learn all these lines for this monologue and and um so that's thrilling that's a thrilling challenge in its own way uh so i'm really looking forward to um working in a, this in a, in a different medium of yeah you know in indie film where you do get to have a little bit more breath uh, a, a little more time to breathe um and then of course when we get to set and when we when we get to shoot it of course there will be i'm sure there'll be some uh um, some moments that need a little bit of urgency, but, um, but yeah, we, I, I feel like I'm looking forward to having just the time and the space to like talk it out and flesh things out. And like the, the script has been, you know, has been, we've been tweaking it along and, and, and we will continue to do so just because thankfully we have that kind of time right now. Answer. And, you know, throughout your career, you've always picked these projects that one do have an entertainment factor to them, but also create these conversations and kind of a meaningful impact on audiences. What is your vetting process like when you're deciding what projects you want to go out for? <laughs> but to be honest, I don't really have much of a vetting process. It's a little bit like, especially when I started out for sure, it was a lot of like, hey, you're willing to hire me and 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 pay me money for this? Cool. Where do I park? Like that's <laughs> you know, like when you're when you're a newer yeah. newer actor, that's that's pretty much what it is uh, you don't feel like you get to say no to things but with this something like Chopin especially coming off the you know me especially off of me coming off of especially with me coming off of uh having rap season three of kung fu yeah I love being able to tackle a different angle of Asian American identity yeah because there's so many layers and so many ways to slice it and there's no there's none, not enough time to fill it in one book or in one hour of TV um, uh, uh, when it comes to discussing race and identity and how to be Asian American in the West or in America, mm -hmm. you know? So um, yeah, I, 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 I do personally value and, and, and very much look forward to the opportunities where I can work on anything that is not only a positive work experience, but if it can spark any conversation or get people to watch it and say, Hey, I relate to that. Hey, I know that conversation. Hey, I, I feel like I know these people. Um, or if it's simply, Hey, I 
I am this person and I didn't see that yeah. on the screen until now. Uh, that's amazing. As an actor, as a performer, I, I, and as somebody who does care about those things and thinks about those things, I, I hope to do more of that. It's, uh, it's, it's a gift, really.